Nutrition Introduction to Nutrition Hippocrates, the father of medicine, famously said, Let food be thy medicine and let medicine be thy food. Even though he lived in the 4th century BCE, Hippocrates was onto something. Since then, physicians, nutritionists, and scientists have offered variations on Hippocrates' statement, the most basic of these you are what you eat. While this premise may sound simple, most people may find it complex to apply in real life. Uh, food and drink are a combination of macronutrients, carbohydrates, protein, and fats that contain a combination of micronutrients such as vitamins and minerals. Humans need these macronutrients and micronutrients to nourish their body. Food is essential to the survival of every species. For humans, though, food provides more than sustenance. It has taken on cultural, social, emotional, and even religious significance. Many family and social traditions focus on food and drink. For better or worse, people build a relationship with food, a relationship that often carries a far greater role in one's life than providing simple nutrients to enable survival. You cannot turn on the television and radio or surf the internet without being inundated with the latest nutritional news. Media outlets report which foods might finally allow you to effortlessly lose 20 pounds, prolong your life, protect your heart, or retain your youthful glow. The problem is that the results of these studies often seem to contradict one another, and you may be left confused about the best way to optimize your health uh, through food. Changes in the general state of health for Americans over the past decades are disturbing. Since 1990, obesity in America has grown at an alarming rate, according to the Harford T. H. Chan School of Public Health. In 1990, nearly every U.S. state had, had an obesity rate of about 15% or lower. In, uh, in 2010, 12 states had an obesity rate of 30% or greater while an additional 36 states had an obesity rate of 25% or higher. The Centers for Disease Control CDC notes that a full one-third of Americans, 78.6 million people, are obese. Similar trends are occurring elsewhere throughout the Western world. Meanwhile, according to the CDC, heart disease and stroke are the first and third top causes of death in the American population. Respectively, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases at the National Institutes of Health notes in their executive summary that autoimmune diseases are also on the rise in the American public, with autoimmune conditions affecting 5-8% to of the population, or between 14 and 22 million people. The statistics indicate a population growing sicker with each passing year. What is causing this decline in American health? If you are what you eat, then perhaps the answer lies on the breakfast, lunch, and dinner plates of the American people. As Hippocrates suggested so many centuries ago, if you want to begin to heal, then at least part of the cure lies in the foods you eat. This course aims to provide you with a simple and varnished truth about nutrition. Using scientific evidence and facts, it will help you begin to understand how different types of micronutrients and macronutrients affect your body so you can live the healthiest and most vibrant life possible. Food as medicine. Food is very powerful medicine. It affects you on every level, so the quality of the food you consume determines your body health. Different foods have varying nutrient profiles and different nutrients support various body organs, systems, and functions. Therefore, the foods you eat can and do affect your health. Eliminating foods for health. In some cases, eliminating certain foods can help you find your way to better health. For someone with the autoimmune disorder, celiac disease, 
Eating gluten, a protein found in wheat, rye, and barley, causes damage to the small intestines. This damage causes severe pain and blocks the body's ability to absorb nutrients from the foods. While there is no cure for the celiac disease, eliminating gluten from the diet can control the symptoms, allowing the intestines to heal so they can once again absorb nutrients. For people with irritable bowel syndromes, IBS, eliminating a group of foods called food maps uh, may help control the symptoms of the disease. Similarly, people with allergies or sensitivities to foods like peanuts or dairy can eliminate these foods from their diets to improve health and decrease body inflammation. Eating foods for certain health conditions. Some naturopaths and functional medicine specialists recommend certain foods to help various health conditions, but studies remain inconclusive. For example, fermented foods, which are high in enzymes and probiotics, may help people with digestive issues. Someone with anemia may benefit from eating iron-rich and B12-rich foods such as organ meats. A person with a cold may shorten its duration by eating foods rich in vitamin C, such as citrus fruits. Food with medicine. Some foods interact negatively with, this, with the certain drugs, while others, uh, other foods may help boost the effectiveness of medication. The FDA notes uh, a number of food and drug interactions that may prevent a medication from working or lessen its effects, worsen or improve the medication's side effects, uh, interact and cause new side effects. The FDA warns that the medications you take may change the way your body process and metabolizes the foods you eat. Some common food and medication interactions include the following. Taking alcohol with antihistamines and narcotics may increase the effects of sleepiness from, the, from these medications. Taking alcohol with narcotics can depress respiration, which can be very dangerous. Mixing alcohol with analgesics may cause liver problems. Using bronchodilators, asthma medications with caffeine containing foods and drinks may increase side effects like rapid heartbeat and heart palpitations. Taking AC inhibitors with high potassium foods such as bananas may cause dangerously high levels of potassium in the body. Combining statins with grab fruits or grab fruit juice may cause the level of statins in the body to rise. Blood thinners combined with foods that also uh, thin blood, like garlic and ginger, may cause the blood to thin too much. You can also use foods to enhance wellness when you take certain medications. For example, there is some evidence that niacin can help boost your levels of good cholesterol, HDL. Foods, foods high in niacin, vitamin B3 include fish, pork, peanuts, liver, and mushrooms. For people with significant levels of inflammation or autoimmune disease, foods containing omega-3 fatty acids can help reduce inflammation. These foods include fish, flax seed, chia seeds, and walnuts.